This is rubbish. There's only one road and we can't cross it. So I don't know what to do. Good morning. Morning everybody. We're all back morning. in the car. We're leaving Coral Bay today. It's been two lovely days with lots of rain and lots of snorkeling. But rain only at night because it's the wet season anyway. So, And we're hoping the roads aren't super flooded. So we did snorkeling. We did some frisbee playing. Oh. What else did we do? Some See a dolphin. Sitting. Oh, we saw a dolphin, that's true. My dad can't pour coffee, he's putting it everywhere but in a cup. Yes. <laughs> All right, wish us luck with the roads. We've come to a halt, but not because of flat waters, just because I wanted to show you something that's growing alongside the roads here. Like lots of them. Look, termite mans here. I don't know if you can see this, but they're everywhere. Tell you what, the only real, real stupid, annoying thing are those flies. They're terrible. Yesterday, when we walked to the beach, like along the beach, we had like a black cloud hanging around us. When we entered the water, this black cloud, like all of a sudden, disappeared. Like came up, would have looked quite funny from the distance. Anyway, that's something nobody will miss ever. Stupid flies. This is rubbish. There's only one road and we can't cross it. So I don't know what to do. We might have to go all the way up to Exmouth. It's new and it's done we'll have to go, yeah, we go north and then south. We go the longer way. Hopefully that will work. It's a little gefährlich. No, I'm not going to go through the river. Right, we're back in Coral Bay. We did find some fuel because that was our next worry. But luckily they had a fuel station, 24 hour fuel here. So now our only other option is to go further north. Like 50 k's north and then right onto Burkett Road. And then we go down highway, north coast highway I think. And the same river we have to cross there again, the one that we couldn't cross then, but we're hoping that on the highway they've dealt with it a bit better than here. Anyway, we'll see, wish us luck, otherwise we're stuck up here. There's no other way, that's the only other way we can try. Righto, so after about 100 kilometres, going into the wrong direction because of flat waters that blocked the way, we've now reached a northwest coastal highway and we're hoping. And we're hoping to get through. So we'll see. Wish us luck now. In record time, we managed to get here. Not sure if we actually filmed the crossing of the river, because my dad thought he filmed, but he hadn't. So I just checked. He didn't film it. <laughs> now he's all upset with himself. He got mixed up with like the recording order. When he thought he was filming, he wasn't. And when he wasn't filming, he thought he actually was. Anyway, I have a lot of footage of the glove box. Sorry. Ah, uh, cheer up! We're still alive, that's the most important thing. It's good, the book is good. It's good. Oh, God. 
Hot Creek Special durch Asphalien. And this episode is going to be called <laughs> Through Australian Glove Box. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Also, soll ich das ausmachen oder lange Löffel? Bist du sicher, dass du eine ist? <lacht> Thank goodness, we have arrived and we're in the same, same little hut we were in last time. Oh, 11 hours that was. Jesus Christ, I'm so naked. We're now going to the pool, first things first. My brother's first things first, so coffee. My dad and I, we're off to the pool, because it is very hot again. And it's just very nice day. <laughs> this swim was very refreshing. And now we're going to cook some dinner. We got some sausages and some hash browns, and we've also got baked beans. Righto, this is it for today. We're all very tired. It's been such a long day. I've already built my little tent. That's the König. You want the König? The king. The king lives over there. He's got the best part of the house. He's got a big bed, and um, that's it. And tomorrow it's back to Perth for us. But we will stop at something. So we will. At least we're planning on stopping at Cervantes, maybe Durian Bay, and also we're going to go to Lancelin again where those big sand dunes are. Mark and I have been there before. Um, but if you're interested you can watch the vlog, I'll link it up here. And that's it. So for now we say good night, I hope you enjoyed today's adventure with us, and I hope we'll see you next time. Ciao! So we've now arrived at our final destination before getting to Perth. We have come to Lancelin Dunes and we're intending to get up here.